So we have Aries. You could be an Aries, whoever this person is, they could be an Aries. We have destiny. We have panicking and then suffering in silence. So somebody could be panicking because they found out something is destined to happen, fated to happen. Um, something that can't be avoided. And if they did a lot of things in a negative way to like create confusion because they started panicking, now they're suffering in silence. Yeah, this person is suffering in silence because you're you're in this energy of loving yourself. We have Libra. You could be a Libra. This person could be a Libra. They have under investigation, so they could be panicking because they feel like they're under investigation or they could have found out that they're under investigation. You have facing jail time and then clarity. So something that they did has came out while they were in a state of panicking. It has landed them under investigation and this could mean that they're facing some type of jail time now that this is out. Now they could have did this and felt like there would never be any clarity um, the truth would never come out. They would never get exposed, but they still got exposed. And now it's like they don't know what to do. Yeah. This is someone who tried to either cause some type of ending for you. You have communication. This could be for something um, after something that you said and it made them panic. And you could have found out that this person was a hidden enemy to you or somebody else could have found out. They're a hidden enemy to you, like whoever is investigating this person. So if this is someone who got upset because of something that you said, and they felt like you shouldn't have said it. This person was a hidden enemy to you before you said whatever you said. You could have just separated yourself from this person. Um, set boundaries with this person and they did something because they panicked and if they were trying to stop something that was destined to happen for you um, they couldn't they're realizing that they couldn't and whatever they did while panicking backfired it wasn't going to work it landed them in a situation that they don't want to be in expose their self to be a hidden enemy to you to someone else now maybe they didn't know that they were exposing their self to be a hidden enemy but it's like before they did whatever they did panicking the person that they went to or they could have tried to confuse or some this could be different people they tried to confuse about you these people already have um clarity or a certain person already had clarity. You have the King of Wands. Then we have the Emperor. So somebody is definitely an Aries. We also have Sagittarius here. And then we have um, Air Sign, Ace of Swords. So they could have went to two different people and um, tried to create some type of confusion after you said something, but these two people already gained clarity. They already knew the truth. Yeah, you have the Ten of Wands. It's like this person is someone that's like back into a corner. They're weighed down with a lot of guilt. This person is overwhelmed. Now, maybe they felt like they were holding you up or doing something to stop you from um, completing something. 
So after you said something, this person could have went to certain people and just lied. And they didn't know that there was hidden information like the people that they lied to already knew the truth. Proof. I'm getting proof. So there was some type of proof. And it's like they view that person as someone that just came to them, start bad mouthing you, talking about you in a negative way. And you are, a, um, they're a hidden enemy to you. Yeah, this is someone that got upset because you chose to like separate yourself. Now, one of these people could be a divine counterpart because you have the emperor, the empress on the bottom of the deck. And then you have this king of wands. So it's like this emperor already knew the truth. Or as I said, it could be both people that knew the truth. But yeah, this is somebody that you were no longer attached to. Could be someone you worked with, with the Eight of Pentacles. You were just focused on work, um, focusing on yourself. This could be a business with the Empress and the Eight of Pentacles. Long-term stability. You were working on not only a business, but you were focused on completing a cycle. Or you had accomplished completing a cycle. You are focusing on loving yourself, nurturing yourself, taking care of yourself. But you're also someone that has um, your own stability. It's like whatever it is that you do, you do something by yourself. It's like you stand alone. So if this is somebody that kind of like depended on you for some type of assistance or help or um, they wanted you to depend on them and you didn't, this is someone who got upset and they felt like going to spread some type of lie on you would make you like look bad to whoever your divine counterpart is or other people. But they didn't know that your divine counterpart already views them as a hidden enemy or immediately after they said whatever they said, this gave them clarity that this was a hidden enemy to you. It's like they immediately got caught up in, the tra in a trap right after they said whatever they said. Right after they communicated this. It's like they were trying to backtrack whatever you had already said. Whatever your divine counterpart already had clarity about, they wanted them to believe that whatever you said was not true. But this is because this person felt betrayed because you didn't need them. And they didn't want you to know that they were a hidden enemy to you. This is someone who thought they were one up in you. And whoever you had already, you know, spoke the truth to would feel as if you were a liar or something like that. Yeah, this is someone that was very jealous. This person is jealous because you're someone who have moved on in life. You have self-control. You could be someone who, as I say, stands alone. You don't need any assistance or help from anyone. You're someone that's very mature. You're, you know, independent. Yeah, this is someone that definitely thought that they were one up in you. They don't like the fact that you're self-disciplined. You have self-control. You change your direction. And you were determined to stay focused in that energy. This is someone who could not change that. This could have been a, a jealous family member or a jealous friend of yours. And you just, you felt like, you know, you have your own path. That person has another path. You chose to stay focused on the path that you're supposed to be on. And they're suffering in silence because they know whatever has took place, whatever they're going through, whatever has came out. It was destined to happen. It's supposed to happen. It's something that they could not stop. 
your divine counterpart viewing them or seeing them as this hidden enemy that couldn't be stopped. This is someone who does not have self-control. They're not self-disciplined. They cannot be focused or stay focused on their self. They have to focus on everything else. And this is someone that was very focused on whatever it is that you have going on because they're a hidden enemy to you. They're envious of you. And they didn't like the fact that you could have just separated yourself from them and just focused on you. And if they were secretly in competition with you for a long time and you didn't know, they felt like they could no longer secretly compete with you, copy you. This could be someone who wants to be you. And they felt like you were moving on with the chariot and they're in the eight of swords. You have the ace of cups. Yeah, this person thought they would be blocking you off from um, true love. Blocking your divine counterpart off from you with the seven of wands and the ace of cups. They feel like they had that type of power. And it's like they use somebody else to like make you look bad. So say if you expose someone, you communicated something um, to your divine counterpart about some type of betrayal. They wanted to make it seem like you lied about the betrayal. Not knowing that your divine counterpart already had proof. So as I said, it made them be seen as this five of wands energy. Somebody that felt like they were one up in you. Somebody that was trying to create blockages for you. And they gave your divine counterpart a crystal clear vision of why they were doing whatever they were doing. This was a hidden enemy. This person is a five of swords. They felt like they would be able to sabotage you. But you would not know. This would be done behind your back. You have the Six of Wands and the Two of Cups. So this is someone who was determined to try to sabotage um, a connection with you and your divine counterpart, something that is destined to um, take place, destined to happen. They didn't like the way that they, they felt like if you and your divine counterpart partnered up, you would be in the Six of Wands. They would be in the Six of Wands. You and that person would be like a power couple. This could also be two people that hold each other in high honor. Two people that will be successful. Two people that will be able to achieve um, different things together. And they were intimidated by this. But yeah, they thought they were one up in you and they ended up getting exposed. And you could already know that this person is someone that's like a five of wands, five of swords type of energy. And you just chose to focus on yourself and set boundaries with that person. Whether this was someone that you have knew, um, known for a long time, you have been friends with for a long time, you chose to block that person. Because this person was someone that was creating blockages. And it's like, if they felt like you did not know, they didn't know that you intuitively knew. Your intuition is guiding you to do all of the things that you're doing. We have healthy. So this could be someone who does not like the fact that you're healthy. This nine of pentacles, it talks about healthy um, as well. You could be someone who could have... Um, Lost weight. You could have changed your diet or something like that. 
You could have stopped the way that you eat. Started watching what you put in your body, different things like that. There's something about your health that has changed. And this could be why this um, person was intimidated by you. I have something to tell you. You have Capricorn here. You could be a Capricorn. One of these people could be a Capricorn. Yeah, so whoever, this could be your divine counterpart. They have something to tell you about a jealous friend. This is someone that you could not trust. And you, as I say, you already intuitively knew this, and this is why you were making the moves that you were making. And you just decided to set boundaries and move on from this person. This could be someone that you inspired with inspiration being here. You could have been trying to help that person, support that person. But this is someone who did not, they didn't want that from you. This person wanted to be you. You have Pisces. You could be a Pisces. One of these people could be a Pisces. We also have Aries again. So somebody is definitely an Aries. Have peace. Low self-esteem. And then Sagittarius. So somebody is a Sagittarius. You could be a Sag. Um, one of these people could be a Sag. But you're at peace. Whoever this jealous friend is, this person is someone who deals with low self-esteem. And as I said, this is someone who wanted to be you. With somebody who wants to be you. This was a toxic friend who told lies on you. And it's like right after they told lies on you, you could have found out something about this person. You could have found out they were used, they were offered to like magic, spell work, with you exposed to spell work. So it's like right while they're thinking that they're one up in you, they're planning your energy. You would never find out something was revealed to you. Something came out about that person. And that was only confirmation to you that this person was someone that you could not trust. Confirmation that you made the right decision to set boundaries with this person. Release this person. Now, this could be someone who felt like they would be able to hook up with your divine counterpart. And they would one-up you. Yeah, they felt like that they would create some type of storm warning, um, chaos and drama, conflict between you and your divine counterpart and your divine counterpart will be coming, coming to them for a hookup or a one night stand or a casual relationship, a fling or something like that with hookup energy being here. I'm so <laughs> This is sad. Yeah, this is sad. And it's like this person is someone that could be married with wedding being here and then addiction. It's like they're married to someone, whoever this jealous friend is. But this is a toxic relationship, a karmic relationship. This is someone that they were using spell work over. And it's like they could be, you know, in a in, in a marriage or a connection where it's based off of addictions and just toxic attachments. Yeah, and stress. It's like whoever the person is that they're attached to, that they could be using this spell work over. This person is stressed out. They're depressed. They feel restless. They could be constantly having panic attacks. And they don't know it's because of whoever this person is that they're attached to. This person that was a jealous friend to you was placing spell work or is using spell work to keep them bound to them.
It's like they want them to feel like I need you and you need me. We need each other. But in reality, it's just a toxic attachment. Somebody has to make a change in order to see a change. And if you expose them using spell work, <clears throat> they didn't want this, this marriage, this connection to change. So it's like right after you expose this, they could have um, panicked and tried to do whatever they could do to keep that person stuck. The more and more they've been trying to keep that person stuck, the more and more this person is stressed out that they're in a marriage with, they're stressed out. And somebody wants change. Like somebody wants something to be over. This is a cycle that has to end out. Yeah. And they're shocked. This is something that they did not see coming. But this person was, be this, this jealous friend was behind the scenes planning your energy out of jealousy. And it's like, boom, like a tower. Something came out about them that they did not expect for you to find out and expose. Yeah. Somebody could have went through a house fire. You have home and divine intervention being here. Something could have happened at a home. If this wasn't a house fire, um, <clears throat> somebody's home could have gotten destroyed. This was some type of karma that fell back on the person that you're no longer attached to this person that felt like they would be able to spread some type of lies on you or the person that was secretly competing with you. Something started going on in a home situation. This was their karma for everything that they were doing behind the scenes towards you. And they felt like whoever this, this person is, that they're in a marriage, this spouse would never find out, you would never find out. Nobody would know. Yeah, they feel like you're far away from it all. You've set up these boundaries. You've distanced yourself. You definitely don't communicate with this person. You don't talk to this person anymore. Yeah, you've completely released that person with surrender being here. You could have also felt like this person was someone who... Um, Play some type of spell work over you. But this is someone who was definitely an illusionist. Whatever they have been doing, they have been doing it for a long time. With mystery being here. Way before you chose to move on from that person and set boundaries with them. This is someone who uses confusion, manipulation, trickery. To get whatever it is that they want out of life, out of people. And they don't care who it is. We have wisdom. So you've definitely gained a lot of wisdom and knowledge through this experience. This has definitely helped you to gain knowledge about your destiny. And you have self-limiting beliefs. So you could have changed your whole belief system, the way that you think, the way that you view life. Things that you were told or things that um, people wanted you to believe. Now that you have a better understanding, you've gained knowledge, you don't view things different. You feel like certain things that you could have believed was keeping you blocked off, keeping you in the energy of negative thinking. And they were creating like roadblocks in your life, keeping you in the energy of fear. 
keeping you in the energy of expecting the worst to happen. Yeah, a lot of wasted time. Yeah, but now it's like you're in this energy of balance. You found a lot of time for yourself and you definitely balanced out your masculine and feminine energy. Yeah, you've definitely healed. It's like you're not harboring any resentment towards this person. It's like you're viewing the whole the situation a whole nother way. You have to accept the fact that you cannot change who that person is. You can only change who you are. You can only set boundaries with that person and release that person. That's the best decision that you could come up with. This new belief system has helped you to heal past, um, past trauma. This could be past life. I was getting ready to say past life trauma. So something that you could have either dealt with in the past or this could be past life trauma that you were able to resolve and heal this time around. Now that you have a better understanding of things. Yeah, self-awareness. You've tapped into your higher self. You started questioning a lot of routines, a lot of patterns, things that you could have did repetitively. And um, this has helped you to move on, be more focused and determined to not look back. Not reattach yourself to people that does not serve purpose in your life. Yeah, and you're very abundant. So this abundance, this could be money coming towards you or this could be a love relationship. This could be both. But you have abundance that's headed your way for choosing to declutter, let go of old energy and create a new sacred space for yourself. Yeah, you did this at the right time with divine timing being here. You were able to realign yourself, shift your energy, and um, you have a lot more clarity. Not only do you have clarity, but your twin has gained some type of clarity. This person could be someone that is, um, they could be decluttering, like letting go of old things. This could be an old mindset, certain people. That they feel like that does not serve a purpose in their life. Yeah, it's like they went through some type of awakening as well. Some type of shift. They've been spending a lot of time alone. Doing a lot of reflecting on the past. And this could be current situations that they're in um, at the present moment. Yeah, but they're listening to their intuition. This is someone that's physically and mentally um, unwinding. Now that they've went through this awakening. So this jealous friend is someone that you could have said something to about your twin because you have twin flames and girl talk. So they could have knew that this is someone that you were interested in or you were in the energy of happily being single. You could have talked about your twin to this jealous friend. And this is why they went to your divine counterpart and tried to create some type of illusion. And they felt like they were one up in you. Yeah, but with Cupid's arrow, oh, so they were supposed, th this was supposed to hesitate your twin from coming towards you. This was supposed to stop them from meeting up with you or connecting with you, communicating with you or something like that. 
even though they tried to do this, as I say, this is destiny, something that could not be stopped. This card says, Has, have faith, love is coming. You and your twin are in this yin and yang energy. Something is being balanced out. Yeah, it's like somebody needed to heal. This could be you and your twin needed to heal. Free yourself from a toxic situation, a toxic cycle, toxic people. Yeah, you have I like you. So this didn't change. It's like if your twin is someone who already has emotions for you. This jealous friend they didn't know. But they felt like they were one up in you because of what you said about your twin. So even if this is someone you didn't say, hey, I'm interested in that person, you could have just said something as if you hold that person in high honor. You respect that person or something like that. They wanted to make sure they could make you out to be seen as someone that you're not and at the same time seduce your twin with seduction being here. This would have you sad with separation. Yeah, but they didn't know that this, this person did not know that you were focused on growth. You were going through a transition. It's like as they thought they were 10 steps ahead of you, you were actually 10 steps ahead of that person. You weren't focusing on whatever they were focusing on or they wanted you to focus on or they thought you would be focused on. And this is how they immediately got caught. They immediately were seen for someone that was not only a hidden enemy to you, but someone that was um, somebody that steps outside of their marriage or their commitment. Because this is somebody that's married or in a long-term relationship or something like that. I'm here married. Yeah, this person is married. This person made their self be seen as somebody that's just, um, <laughs> somebody that's just trifling. This is sad. It's like, this is someone who did not want to stop doing whatever they were doing. Because if your twin did not feed into whatever they said about you, they felt like that wasn't enough. They still had to get some type of revenge on you from isolating yourself from them and not needing them or not wanting to be around them and just focusing on you. So they could have did something to have you trapped with imprisonment being here, privileged lady, occupation. They want, It's like something that you were working on. They wanted you to stop working on it. You have coffin and then you have chain. It's like whatever they did. This has landed them in a situation that they could be literally facing jail time because somebody did not want to stop. Now, if they didn't get the reaction out of you the way that they wanted to, they didn't get the reaction out of your twin the way that they wanted to. It just kept them going. Yeah, you have mature woman popping out in the reverse. This is someone that is just unstable. It's like they don't have anything going for their self. And this could be someone that's older than you. 
because you're this privileged lady. This person is someone that's this mature woman. They're a lot older than you. Even if this person is someone that was a friend to you or a jealous friend of yours that you've separated from. Yeah, they wanted to stop something that you were doing. This could be for work. With occupation being here. It felt like you were making changes in your life. You were clearing out your pathway, ending out cycles, moving on from things that don't serve purpose in your life. And they're not. They could no longer like secretly compete with you. But this is someone that could never compete with you. They don't compare to you. They had to come to that major um, realization. Because this is something that you already knew if you found out that this person was jealous of you, they wanted to be you, secretly competing with you. It just gave you confirmation that however you already intuitively felt was true. Now, in the past, these could be things that you did not want to believe, but this was definitely confirmation. A person mass is always going to fall off, especially when they don't mean any good to you. Now, they could have paid a family member to help them do something as well. Because you have this main male family room and unexpected income. Now, this is somebody that had help. Because they start panicking. Now, whoever your twin is, this is someone that cannot stop thinking about you. They love you unconditionally. And something that could have took place between you and them in the past, this could be them lying. This could be them just ghosting you or stop communicating with you. They're wishing that they would have treated you better. But they left you before you could leave them. So this could be someone that just did not want you to know the truth about who they are as a person, the type of people that they're attached to. Because there's another person that's attached to whoever your divine counterpart is. This could be someone that was a major influence in their life. This could be someone that admired you, whoever this King of Wands is. Yeah, they definitely did not want them to come towards you. And they felt like they could not talk to that person about you. So if this is someone that they knew did not want to come towards you, they had a gut feeling that, you know, made them feel as if they don't need to react when this person mentions you or talk about you because um, this is someone that was definitely not wanting them to have a connection with you. But they're wishing that they would have treated you better. Now, all of this, now that all of this has came out, they've gained clarity about whoever this jealous friend is that you've detached from and whoever the person is that they are attached to. They could be realizing they have to detach from that person. Yeah, we will be together again. So they're planning on reaching out to you. You could run into them, but something is, there's a destined partnership, a destined um, meetup, a destined union that is supposed to take place between you and your twin. Whatever took place to try to create some type of ending to sabotage the connection before it got started, was supposed to happen. 